Don't touch anything. Don't call anyone. I'm on it. Raise at your door. Things are gonna get a lot better. I have a way to get you out of this. Or you're up shit's creek. I'm not here to judge you. You set me up, motherfucker. Ray makes it okay for the rich and famous to do whatever they want. I think you're the first person I've dealt with woke up in bed with a dead body. That gets ugly sometimes. No! In my law firm, we employ him to fix things for us. Why don't we kill him? It's the underbelly of the business and of high-powered situations that not everyone has access to. The biggest conflict for Ray is walking that line between taking care of his family and being good at his job. What about your own son, your daughter? What about us? Stop being dramatic. Everyone's fine. We're not fine. I don't know if any marriage is an easy marriage, but this one has its fair share of problems, and Ray brings a lot of that. You got a hole in your heart, Ray. The origin of Ray is based on intense hatred and anger towards his father. He wasn't supposed to be out for five more years. He's out, Ray. Mickey's a very extraordinary character. He's dangerous, childlike, he's a clever survivalist, and he loves his children in his own way. How's those grandkids of mine? You go near my family, I'll fucking kill you. It's a pretty scary time for Ray. He feels his family and his life is really at risk. Don't let the wolf in the gate have you. These two characters are very well matched. So I'm just as curious as you are how they're going to work this out because it's not going to be easy. You've done bad things, Ray. I'd always been intrigued by the psychology of violence and the tremendous vulnerability that it often hides. <laughs>